to score the essentials. An eighth of Kush, a 24 at long necks, and a couple hits of LSD should do me just fine. Locating the LSD proved more difficult than finding a 1953 Munz jet at a local car auction. Apparently there is a crusade against the sales and distribution of the elusive narcotic. All along the coast, cops are doing their best to eradicate the mind-bending substance. After a series of failed attempts, I was finally given the name of an obscure character who I had long heard of but never came in touch with until now. A man who described himself as the last honest crime lord. Kool-Aid Collins. Or the Duke as they like to call him. If you were seeking something illegal and infrequent, whether it be drugs, women, or stolen automobiles, he was the cat to talk to. Running business out of his old speakeasy in downtown, he was at the top of the totem pole, the final step in the ladder. How he managed his business and stayed off the cops' radar still remained a mystery to me. But as long as I was taken care of, that's all that really mattered.